So yeah, um, this time a month ago, me and Beth was planning to meet the next day. We're doing it again. Happy first of the month. I'm getting drunk. Don't let me drown. I just went down to see if my pin number had come. It hasn't, but I got photos instead. So let's open the photos. <laughs> my photos from a website called free print if you don't know who they are there's a link in the description it's not spawn at all i wish i was spawn please spawn me spawn me i'm back to making videos now right so you can also get free photo tiles right i've got 80 i've got 14 in this pack and I, what i did is i got some stuff that makes me happy printed some stuff from while i was in hospital that i'm gonna put on my pin board so it is a photo of me, because I'm fabulous, and I got a printout of a message that someone sent me while I was in hospital. Photo of my book being read, and I got another photo of me when I was on holiday. Uh, Brighton, Brighton's happy place, I like Brighton, Brighton sunset. And now we get onto the fun ones of me and Beth, me, Beth and Jordan. Then I got some more YouTube ones done, that are like comments on my Instagram that have made me happy. Uh, I got a few of the 5x5 ones. I got my flower and I got me and Kay. So, crap audio recording from my laptop. I couldn't bother to plug in my microphone, so you get me at 5am on my laptop. Basically, this video is about reintegrating into the community and also seeing Beth again, because Beth is just like... Beth. Beth is amazing. Fucking love her to pieces. Uh, the main purpose of this vlog was to show that I'm trying to get back out there in the community after a month of being in psychiatric care. That was kind of the whole pre- my idea behind the vlog. Um, it's kind of how it went down as well. Like, you know? Yeah. Going out, or yes. <laughs> I have bleach and dye, and I hope I brought the oh, right I've got some dye as well. Vodka straight anymore. I can't. Fucking loser. Go. Mm. <laughs> Gunship. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, of course it is. The to you, it might be. Are you calling me dumb? Like, honestly, like, dumb people are like, they, they're needed, you know? If everyone was smart, then it'd be fucking, like, boring as fuck, you know? I'm a cool ass motherfucker. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, babe. I'm concerned for her welfare. <laughs> she managed to do something for once. I can't believe it. You didn't even ask me to pay for yesterday. Oh, yeah, so yesterday I was, like, in the club. And I was like, I had to call Lydia to try to use PayPal. Well, I'm so fucking drunk. It's ridiculous. Who cares? It's a good thing. We just got judged for having school. Who's your daddy? Shush. Oh, I'm trying to see if you're going to be Oh my god, but like, wait, we just got judged for our scars. Yeah, we did. Also, look at my bruise. Like, 
And I've got the same on my fucking yeah, ass. I've got to say, fuck those people who judge for having scars. Like, who is. It's not a bad business. It's now Sunday. I'm alone in the hotel room because um, Beth kind of got another key taken off her and it's at her house with a friend. Um, that story is a complicated one and I would need Beth here to tell that and she's clearly not so I will be doing that when Beth's on the phone at some point. This morning I've got until like half eleven to leave here so then I've got I'm gonna walk to like Starbucks or Costa and sit there and just sit there editing for a bit because I've got nothing else to do in Wrexham. Um, I'm gonna film some videos this morning and one of them videos is about my morning medication and just about my medication, all about the medications, the medication change basically when I was inpatient and like all my videos at the moment are kind of about like the inpatient stuff like this vlog for me was getting back in the community and learning to kind of be around people again because I think it's like, like a month of having no real like outside connection to people it's quite hard to just reintegrate into bloody society and that's the message i wanted to put in this vlog and i'm gonna put as a voiceover um going out drinking is an okay thing just this is some medication i couldn't take that night like i couldn't take the lorazepam i couldn't take the zopiclone i could have the other meds though so i did and i'm fine like it was a good night it was worth it I wash my hair because we did them chalk colours and my hair was really bright and colourful but I don't want to walk around with bright coloured hair, I like it like this where it's faded and it's blonde on top. I'm going to dye my roots when I get paid the money back. Um, I was going to dye it properly this weekend but yesterday I just... Packing up to leave the hotel. Penguin bars are so addictive. Like, you have no idea how addictive penguin bars are. About another half an hour, I'm gonna head off early and go to Costa and just sit in there because. And uh, why not? So instead, I'll just get a thumbnail. This is me, ready to leave and go. I'm literally just to meet you. Sorry about that. No, it's alright. I'm ready to go back to London. <laughs> Please, let me go back. I'm not gonna lie, there were points during this weekend where my anxiety was so bad. Like, I'm not gonna say it's all easy getting back used to the community and whatever, but this trip was fun. And the night out with Beth was fun. Like, we had fun, we had a good time. That's another important thing to remember. Like, I am proud of myself for being able to get out the flat for Oh, entire weekend and function. Like, 
I've only been out of hospital since last Wednesday. So, the fact that I was able to do this <laughs> is amazing. And I am proud of myself. And if you guys are just to go come and go to hospital, push yourself. Every little thing you do is an achievement. I am home and cold and it's raining outside. That's the fun of my life. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. I'm gonna end this here. Peace out.